doing the Robin Hood again. We're robbing from the poor the and hook. giving to the rich. The hood in Miamisburg. Well, brought to you by Dick Church. Hey. Another DPNL alumni. Yes. Damn poor living, as it is known by those who <laughs> who grew up in the, under, under the wing. <laughs> yes. Under the wing. Someday we'll talk about Greg's know, father used the to work unions for and how the unions in town destroyed each other. Drexel Dave will get you on that there soon. But right now we're talking about how Miamisburg is going to be asked to, to add, add 05 percent to their income tax because they can't pay the bills. For Austin Pike Interchange. Austin Pike's getting a lot of press these days. Is eight, the, $8 million is what in the Miamisburg city. signed off for. Yes, well. They got got to get that money from somewhere. Isn't that nice he elected Dick Church to dick you? No. Dick Celeste before he dicks you. Remember that slogan? I bet you do as a dad. Help. Help. I know. Anyway, long story is, or the short story is, you're financing another the rich people. The rich people, but here's the here's the real question. What are the rich people giving you back? Jobs. Jobs. Oh, they're giving jobs, so we're gonna In raise the taxes. Retail. Hold on, we're gonna add raise the taxes on the people that work there. Oh, you wait a second. How much real estate on that Austin Pike is is actually in Miamisburg? Only half of it, right? Well, some of it's in a TIF, which is, you know, the city well, of Dayton gets. And then the city of Dayton has figured out how to, to convince people to take out 99-year leases on property at the Dayton airport. And what's a TIF? A TIF is a tax increment financing deal where your taxes basically go back to finance. Look, you can't what, make what it you did. What's a TID? A Transportation Improvement okay. District. In other words, you don't have to do any planning. You just set up a TID. As long as you get idiots to buy bonds, you can build any interchange you want to and, avoid all the issues. And, and the reality is, the, these focus the money back, that they, any money paid comes back right back to the developers. It's You've like, been you don't, electing you don't contribute, developers. You don't contribute to the greater good, you contribute back to yourself. All the developers. How would you like it if you just, all your property taxes guaranteed came back to your street and your street only? That's what they do with these things. Well, it's, I think it's interesting because all you property owners are... Oh, yeah, Greg <laughs> with his gleeful look on the future. That's why I'm a rentor. Yes. I talked to a lot of real estate people the other day. So, the reality is, Miamisburg, sorry, but you're going to pay more in taxes. And that's going to scare jobs away because, just like Dayton, when you're up at 2.25%, they say, all right, we can go over to Kettering. Where the guy who's going to benefit RG property. Or we can go over to Washington Township where there is zero income tax. Randall Gunlock can write an $8 million check out of his personal account, probably. I, he may be able to. I mean, he's got his own private ice rink in the backyard. He's got his own private ice With airport. a Zamboni. But he deserves it because he's making jobs. Yeah, Walmart jobs. Welcome to Walmart. Yeah. How may I help you today? The United States of Walmart. Isn't that nice? We have we're crass. Hey, you know we got exactly what we deserved. Let's you know, it's fine. Let's not make anything. We good. we keep doing this the way we're doing things, and and we will have the super rich, we will have the political class and the government workers, and then we'll have the rest of us being. You're gonna have broke. plane flyers into the IRS buildings, is what you have. <sighs> Back to the plane flyer. It's, it's, it's ugly, isn't it? Yeah, some guy got really pissed off today and flew a plane into the IRS building. Suicide by He plane. left a suicide note on the internet, yes. which they've taken down. Yeah. Except for, luckily, but, the guy I read cashed the whole site but, and then we'll again, post it back Again, this is, this is the, what, what, what happens to people when you pull all the stops out. Exactly. And... and and when you keep sitting there and saying, oh, it's, foreclosure, and oh, government is not rates, doing what it needs to be doing. And you don't take care of the people, the people eventually get really, really ticked off. Yes, they do. And they fly planes. They start things. making a list and checking it twice. They start doing it's amazing when a, Yes, and when they're inspired by Osama bin Laden to go take out their own people. Do you not think there's a, a weird... I, I think we're at a weird time. And it's, but, and it's going to get weirder. I mean... Health insurance rates jacked up while the I CEOs. I hope it gets weird for old Dicky. While, while the CEOs are making the big money, we, you know, the insurance companies, we got credit cards, you know, rates jacking up before that the laws went in that actually tried to benefit you, but of course got watered down. We've got one thing after another going wrong, and what are they talking about? 
our Congress is pulling in Toyota people to talk about the few people that died because of <laughs> acceleration. Never so, now, that's a conflict of interest since we own GM as Congress yes. Con well, Congress owns right, GM. Right. right. It's weird. But, you know what the problem is here? <laughs> the problem is you can't drive your car into the IRS building and do as much damage as the plane. Well, they talked about that already. If you've got a tanker truck full of fuel, you yeah. would. On that happy note. Yes. Welcome to America. Julian Comstock.